Ma'am, you reported two missing white boys? Damn! We waited for Gretzky like he was giving out cheese. You guys are still here? Yeah, we're waiting for Gretzky. He said he'd be back in a few hours. Look, he's not coming back, okay? He had changed the plans and went right to the airport. I'm just checking out. That's it, I give up. Drew, I'm sorry, but let's just go home, man. Hey, wait. At least his name is spelled right. Oh, man, <laughs> thanks. Risky wore that last night. You mean he actually wore this? Mm-hmm. Man, I'm never washing it. Here you go. Did Gretzky play with this puck last night? No, it's just a puck. So how you guys getting home? Taking the train. You guys ever been in a limo before? What do you think? Even though I was about to get in more trouble than I could imagine, I was glad I went with Drew. In a strange way, I actually had a good time. <laughs> Okay, listen up, you guys. We're gonna break this search party up into groups of four. You, I want you to search Varick Street. Your group, I want you to go to Decatur Street. Your group, I want you to go to the bus stops. And you, I want you to search the alleys, okay? We're looking for two teenage, dark-skinned white boys. This is gonna be bad. Oh, yeah. The worst part is, you didn't even get a chance to meet Gretzky. Or Gretzky, for that matter. It's okay. Still one of the best days of my life. All right, because you got the jersey? No. But thanks for taking care of me, Chris. I'm glad you were there. Me too. The best part of hanging out with Drew that day was for the first time I didn't see him as my little brother I was responsible for. I saw him as something more, a friend. Ready? Ready. True? No, it's Puffy and Mace. Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>